Why won't it fit? Why don't you fit? Now oh, forget it. Oh, hi there. Hello everyone, welcome back to Penumbra Overture. I was doing stuff. Creepy stuff. Very creepy stuff. I found out that I thankfully do not do not have to go into the hole. Sometimes it's fun to go into a hole, but not this one. Nope. And I believe whatever I need to do in this room, I don't need to do yet. Because I came here, I did a bunch of stuff, but I haven't actually... I don't think I've gotten anything from here. Other than a ton of backstory. Oh, I can turn on this light! Sweet. So, yeah, let's just go back out and explore the rest of this place. Because I know most of this place I have not explored. I think this was the first place that I went, wasn't it? Oh. Alright, this is... They can see me because of my vibrations. My movement. They're watching me. That was Shaft 12. Let's see, where did I just go? I think I tried to go to Section C, but it was closed? Did I go to the refinery yet? Let's find out. Let's go to the refinery. I can't remember. I think I've... Yeah, I think I tried to go to the refinery, but I'm not certain. Yeah, I remember this room. I remember, remember killing the dogs here. I think it was locked. Yeah. It's locked. So that leaves. What's the other place? Shaft 13? Have I been to Shaft 13? I sure hope I've killed all the dogs. I killed three, I think. Alright, this is back to the beginning pretty much. Yeah, let's check out Shaft 13. No, I don't think I've been here. Let's be careful. We must be very, very quiet. Man, so many shafts to explore. So many shafts. I haven't seen so many shafts since that, since that time at the something something insert something funny. You remember the time. Because you were there. It sounds like acid. It looks like acid. Is it acid? Those rocks look loose. I might be able to shift them, but they're more likely to bury me alive. Yeah, I would not touch them. I guess I could find out if it's acid? Yep. Yep, it's acid. If it sounds like acid and it looks like acid, it's acid. Fun facts. More of those tunnels. I know what that means. I'd better not stick around here too long. Yep, it's made by those worms. I hope there's no spiders in here. Whoa. Oh, fuck me. 
Why? Why is this place trying to kill me? Oh, I've got to get a grip. I hear spiders. Fuck. What weapons do I have again? No dynamite, which is a good thing, I suppose, because I don't want to be using dynamite in an enclosed space. Whoa. I hear you. I hear you. Battle music. Come on, fight me. I see you. Yeah, yeah, come here. Or don't. Do you think spiders are attracted to meat? Beef jerky? Probably not. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, you're not dead. Okay, now you're dead. Whew. I guess I don't die in one hit. Oh, fuck, there's more. Go, go, go. Oh, fuck, not the right way. That was n definitely not the right way. Come on, come on, come on. That's just another nest. That can't be the right way. Just move on past. Yep, I'm just gonna keep moving. Ah, okay. Can I, like, move a rock in, in the way? <laughs> I think I need a bigger rock. I don't think that's good enough. Yeah, try oh god. I was gonna say try to come in, but um, he was owl. Where are you? Is there a boulder in here? I can't. I can't move this. I don't think so. Oh wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh yeah, and that's this way. Right back to the acid pit. Alright, I gotta get out of the way. Gotta move this stuff now. Uh. Uh. Battle music ends, thankfully. Ooh, beef jerky. Some more flares that I'll probably never use. I'll get to you in a second. It's a changing room. This must have been close to the main entrance to the mine. How many people worked down here? How many people died? Unless my friends lie somewhere near you now. A friend in need is a friend Whoa. indeed. But a friend that is dead <laughs> is a poor conversationalist. May they rest in pieces. Ruptured and decomposing pieces. Ruptured decomposing pieces, yes. That sounds delightful, Red. I don't know why the battle music popped up for a second there. Ah. There's something behind there. Rations. That, or it's a can of rat. I think rations is probably more likely. Let's just go... Yep. 
I missed. I missed gauge of the depth. There we go. Blank note. I've jotted down a note. I hope the note you jotted down wasn't blank too. I found a note, but as far as I can tell, there is no code written on it. Oh, I think it's for the, uh, the blacklight room. Yeah, I've got to take it back to the room with the blacklight, and something will appear on it. Something that was written in ultraviolet ink. Another major cave-in. Damn, it looks like that might have been a route up to the surface. Trapped Miner's Final Words. 24th of February, 1972. I, what the? What's with the battle music? I know there's nothing that's about to hit me. And then it goes away again. Those spiders are getting antsy in that hole, I guess. Alright. 24th of February, 1972. I write this note in the knowledge that it may well serve as my last will and testament. Myself and three other miners have been trapped beneath the, mi the main shaft to the surface for what we believe to be three days. But with no daylight and increasing dehydration, it's impossible to tell. The only thing keeping us alive is the hope that there could be a rescue team already on the way. We were all so positive at the start, but that seems long ago now. Renton was the first to crack, sometime, sometime during the first night. We all just lay there, trying to sleep through the sound of his wailing and sobbing, trying to pretend his problems weren't our own, and that he was weak for having given up so soon. The fact was, he was dealing with the situation pretty realistically. Our chance of survival gets smaller every hour. Since then, he hasn't said much. But the despair that gripped him seems to have spread through the rest of us like, can like a cancer. We were such fools to ignore the foreman. And he paid for that with his life. When he started putting security code locks on all the doors, we thought he was crazy. There's only us down here after all, so why should we need codes to access places we're all allowed to go? He gave us all code sheets, made us swear to keep them safe. Huh. Mine hasn't left my locker more than once. It's still there. Doesn't get much safer than that. We asked him who we were keeping them safe from, but he never said. It was a pain in the ass, is what it was. I had to trek all the way to that crazy biologist's office in the mining room this morning just to check the code for Section C. Whoops. Shit. But he obviously knew something about these mines we didn't. Some of the guys started acting weird. Not crazy weird, just not normal. That didn't stop a couple of them being carted off to mainland Europe for psychiatric help. It was no one I knew well until the incident three days ago. We were in the chemical storage when one of the guys who had seemed pretty straight just started shouting. It wasn't a normal kind of shouting. I'm not any kind of wordsmith, so I just don't know how to describe the noises he was making. We'll just have to stick to with not normal. Anyway, he managed to hurt a couple of guys, damage some equipment before we got him under control. Nothing serious. When we released him, he seemed okay, phased, but all right. Didn't really know where he was, far away look in his eyes. That look. I'll remember that for the rest of my days, even if there aren't many more of them. His pupils weren't dilated. They just seemed to take up more space than should be possible black and horrible. Then he snapped and grabbed up one of the high-rated explosive packs. We knew what he intended, saw it in those eyes. Those that could made a run for it, but the guy was already bearing down on the foreman. He didn't have a chance. There were five of us who made it out to the exit shaft. Only four survived the explosion. The elevator shaft collapsed in on us, and now it's anyone's, anyone's guess how many are still trapped down here. The last thing I saw was those eyes. It seemed like they were staring at me, and me alone. Miles Staten. That's weird, there's a blank last page. Well, I definitely need to go to the biologist's office, to the blacklight. Alright, let's go. Those rocks look loose. They're more likely to bury me alive. Well, I've already moved him.
So is he the one? Was that note describing the in the incident? Was that the incident? That one person who used high explosives and blew up the elevator shaft or whatever? Is that? Is that kind of what? <laughs> That's uncomfortable and disconcerting. I mean, yeah, is he the one that caused the incident? Was that the the big thing or was that not big enough? I mean, it doesn't sound big enough to bring down the entire place, really. Maybe. I don't know, if this place was already weakened and not doing too well, maybe. Anyway. Back to Shaft 12, I think. Yeah, there's definitely no dogs left, thankfully. Oh no. No, it's down here, isn't it? Or is it? I can't remember. No. No, no, that's the door I need the code for. Okay. Yeah, it's 12. Shaft 12. Here we go. Alright, what do I do? Ah, ah, with the UV light, there's some text showing up on that blank piece of paper. The note reads, storage password, 1371. Got it. Now what about... What about this, the last page? No, I guess it's just a bug. A blank page. Yeah, nothing shows up. Alright, back to Shaft C. And we'll see what we can find. So, should I blow myself up with the dynamite now for that bad pun, or later? Section C. Never mind, not shaft C. One three seven one. Okay. More of this. There's got to... Yep, there's a dog around here, of course. We need to be very... Oh, God. Very, very quiet. Fuck you. Oh, God. Dynamite. Get my dynamite out. Now's not the time, Red. Here. How far away are you? You cannot be far. I am held captive by a wall of stone in the northeast of the mine. Oh shit! As in any drama, there are many roles to be played. You must act the scientist in mixing Fuck. potions, act the renegade in plots of destruction. On your travels for the tools with which you will fashion my rescue. Oh god, that's gonna blow up. May discover the place of my last meal. Red, I have no idea what you're be saying. I can't pay attention right now. Of water is not this solid as it Poor Red was almost swallowed whole. The two oh, fuck. men who plummeted into my domain have long since run. Fucking run. From whence they came. Oh god, I, I hear them behind me. 
Blow up, blow up! Oh. Red, now's not the time. Although, I guess he doesn't know, right? I mean, he can't. Well, no, don't, don't take that out. He couldn't have possibly known. Which way does it come from? Does it come from the right or over here on the left? Okay, come from the right, okay. Okay, Red, what were you trying to say? Lake? Lake? An underground lake? Lake U... U... Uticoc? Utica I have no idea how to pronounce that. Q-A-Q. Huh. Sounds like there's a dog in here. Really? There is. The hunger is becoming rather uncomfortable here. How far away are you? You cannot be far. I am held captive by a wall of stone in the northeast of the mine. As in any drama, there are many roles to be played. You must act the scientist in mixing potions, act the renegade in plots of destruction. On your travels for the tools with which you will fashion my rescue, you may discover the place of my last meal. Be careful. The shiny, solid floor of water is not as solid as it seems. Poor Red was almost swallowed whole. The two fools he met who plummeted into my domain have long since departed, though not I expect from whence they came. I ate ravenously of biped meat that day, uh, but Red promises feasting only began when the man became pungent, when the stench of life had gone, and only the sweet aroma of decay remained. That sounds incredibly disgusting. Okay, so watch out for the floor at a place where it can break. I'm guessing he means ice. Probably at the lake. Lake you you know whatever the hell I was. Oh god. Okay, let's go for the explosive. coming closer. I see you a little bit. I see a couple of pixels of you. Please go back. Okay. <laughs> oh god, it's not dead. Oh, fuck. Uh, it appears they're immune to damage when they're down. That is so absurd. You can literally blow one... Put an... Explode an explosive next to a dog. And because, unfortunately, I hit it first and that made it knock over because apparently it can't take a, a hit without falling over and being paralyzed for a second. And that made it not work. Fine, how about this? Did that work? Good, it worked. I could try the meat thing. In fact, I'm gonna try it. Open, open, open. Oh, shit, is a lot. Oh no, it opens, it opens inwards. Where's my meat? Two. not sure if it smells it. I suspect it doesn't. Maybe it does? Ooh, ooh, I think it does. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, you better be dead. Yeah. Apparently it's not insta-death. Apparently when any animal or any human... Or yeah, I guess just when any animal gets hurt, apparently it just is paralyzed for a second. And that is how things get harmed, is by being paralyzed. Whether it's steam or a rock or an explosion. Or a pickaxe to the face. They get paralyzed for a second. I guess they all have whatever syndrome those goats have, or whatever the hell that is. I don't know if that's even a syndrome. 
You know those goats where like loud noises makes them fall over and they get paralyzed for a second? I guess they all have that. For some strange reason. Okay. Oh boy. This is a big place. Chemical storage. Chemical storage. Incinerator. Section B. Section B. Well. I feel like going to the lake. Let's go to the lake. It sounds exciting. Because I hear a dog. I just need an explosive. Oh, fuck off. How many meats do I have? Does that say nine? I think that says nine. Okay. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I think I can actually throw the meat. I, I'm pretty sure that you can throw stuff instead of just dropping it if you hold down the left mouse button, which I've totally missed. So I'm going to try that. So I don't think I have to drop it at my feet, because that would be rather inop... Be a, it's a dangerous thing to do, because it's going to make the dog look directly at me. Go away. All right, let's try it now. Yep, 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 yep. Charging it up. In fact, let's just do this. Like, it, I mean, it's so easy to exploit. You just wait until it gets up and then it knocks over again. But honestly, they're just more annoying than anything, so I'm just gonna do it. Oh god. That's not good. That's... Oh shit. Okay, I got him. Alright. They don't even have, like, paws. It's just, like, a stump. It's really disturbing and weird. Ooh, I don't have any more pills. I gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. If only Max Payne was around here, he could hook me up. That man has a problem. Probably the only dog in here. I think I'm good. We need to be very, very quiet. If you make any noise, the worms might hear you. Like other, other cook, other cook, I don't know. Let's just go. <laughs> looks cold. Also looks like a horrible texture seam. But let's not look at that part. I can't stop looking. I must stop looking. Oh, yes. It's an underground lake. Useless. Well, not entirely. Just an old flare and some painkillers. Finally, something younger than me. Maybe this pack will help me figure out what's going on down here. A blood-soaked letter. Explorer's last will and testament. Last will and testament of Joe Freeman. Final thoughts. 1010 slash 2000. That's very recent. I, Joe Freeman, would like to leave all my personal belongings to my sister, May, in the knowledge that you will distribute them wisely. We always used to say, better to die young than to never live at all. I guess we're going to get our wish. I know enough about survival to realize I won't be surviving much longer. Jono, my buddy, I just don't know. 
My left leg is broken in three, in three places, and I suspect I may also have shattered my pelvic bone. Three hours ago, after we'd set up camp, Ajano set off to find some usable timber for the fire. When he got back, he was very excited. I couldn't work out what it was that had got him so agitated, but I went along with it all the same. I should have recognized the signs. Soon after, he got worse. He jumped me when I turned away, burying my face in the snow, trying to suffocate me. I still don't know what he found in the ice to enrage him so. Lucky for me, the ground gave way, and we both fell. I landed hard on ice, and desperately clawed my way onto more solid ground. I was running on adrenaline, didn't notice the pain, I just knew that, if I was going to die, I didn't want to be in the frozen water beneath me. I didn't want it to be in the frozen water beneath me. When you fall into a frozen lake, you don't just drown or freeze to death. Your whole body seizes up from the cold. Every instinct tells you to swim for the side, but your body won't let you. You gradually dip under the surface, your last breath expelled when you fell. But sh you don't drown there and then. Your body shuts everything down, survives on what strength you have left. You can last for an hour, just floating there, slowly, slowly dying. So now, I'm lying here, my soaked Gore-Tex slowly freezing me in place. Me on one side of the lake, John O trapped on the other. I'm worried about him. From what I can see from this side, his arm is dislocated, his shoulder blade fractured, and his wrist broken. I can't hear anything he yells, but he looks to be constantly muttering to himself, testing the ice with a crowbar from his pack. I don't know how he can stand the pain, or where his strength is coming from, but at any rate, something strange happened to him. Fortunately for me, he can't cross the ice. It'll give way under his weight. The only way to cross would be to carefully spread your weight evenly across the surface, and he looks in too much of a rush for that. There's a lot of drugs in my system right now. I have another bottle of painkillers. There's enough to finish the job. I always said I'd rather die pushing the boundaries than drift away in my sleep. I guess I didn't mean that after all. I'd rather gently slip away than die cold or bleeding. So someone was simply on the surface. And the proximity to this place was enough to cause someone to go crazy. Someone to snap. Is it this is it this fluid from the rock? The psychotropic is it the fluid that's psychotropic? There's something in the rock that's apparently psychotropic and may cause paranoid schizophrenia. But I mean apparently you just need to be near it. That brings up the obvious question. I'm near it. Is it affecting me? Is that what's happening when I touch those artifacts? Is that me losing my mind? Oh boy. It's like there's a carbon copy of me inside the artifact, except that there's more than one, and they're not very good copies. A disused shed. Who knows how old it is, or who last used it. Okay. So, you're supposed to spread your weight. I don't really have anything to do that. Am I even supposed to be here? I mean, I could... Should I go to the, the boards? It looks solid, but not much is as it seems down here. Won't catch me trekking across that. Are you sure? Oh. Okay, um, that was a bad idea. Yeah, I think I need, like, snowshoes or something. Let's come back here. Ah, those voices. Actually, what if I... I wonder if I could... Nah, I can't throw this, though, but I can move... Nah, it's not gonna work.
All right, so much for the lake. Where to next? Some kind of reservoir. I wonder what's inside of it. Let's take this. Well, I think I... I came from Section B, right? So I guess it's either the chemical storage or the incinerator. Let's just go north. There's probably more dogs around here. I doubt I've killed them all. Chemical storage. Incinerators that way. This place is very confusing. Okay, so one chemical storage door will be right here. Apparently I'm going to have to mix together something, but I don't know what. I don't know what I need. I don't like this hallway, and I don't like that noise. I don't... Hmm. This doesn't feel right. Something's wrong. Uh, I knew it! Long hallway! Is that, uh... I've got to... Oh, fuck! Uh oh. Well... <laughs> I was thinking I need to, sh like, shut the door and lock it, but, uh, there's a button. Try it again, shall we? Gigantic worm! Oh, great. Oh, fuck. Come on. Oh fuck, you gotta be kidding me. You got- No, no, no- oh, what? <laughs> Fuck! What the hell am I supposed to do there? That, it's gonna take like 2,000 revolutions to open the damn door. Do I have to start- Oh god, I have to start all the way over again. Oh no, see this is what they got so much better at. In Amnesia, The Dark Descent. When you repeat, it just- Oh, it loses all the power. I don't even think I need to place a box down. Nope. Okay, oh, oh, I think it's this. Come on, come on, you fucking worm, yeah. Get through that. <sighs> oh, my brain can barely imagine the feats of action men like heroics you've been performing <laughs> to save old Red. I am waiting so close now for you to blow down the walls of my earthbound prison cell and release me from this mortal coil. Who invented this thing, for God's sake? Look at this. Look at how many revolutions this takes. What is wrong with whoever designed this? Is, it, is that good enough? Do I have to keep going? I can't even see it.
I'm, I'm just spinning it for no reason. Can I keep spinning it, even if I, like, go through the door? <laughs> okay, how am I gonna get out of here? Is there an exit? There is, okay. Chemical. That's right, I guess I'm not a chemist, I don't know what it is. Labeled with a D. Chemical. With a C. Great. Oh boy. Rations. Unfortunately, I don't have a can opener. And they're not very good copies. Yep. Okay, chemist's notes. Magnesium, calcium, barium, chloride, phosphorus, and sodium. Alright, so M is magnesium, C is... Wait, did I have C? Was it C that I had? Yeah. C is either calcium or chloride. Hm. Do not forget... Badly administered dopamine clouds frequently everything. Okay, that's a um, mnemonic or whatever it's called. So, B A D C F E. What's this? All right, B A D C F E. A bad sidif. Oh, that must be the order, right? Barium... Wait, what's the A? I don't know, we'll, we'll figure out later. Oh, there's A. So it's not done in the order of the chemical's actual name, but rather the label. F. Yeah, I wonder what I need this stuff for. I recommend not throwing around flammable, highly explosive things, by the way. But it's okay for me to do it. I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. B. E. More beef jerky. Yum. Right, so I need somewhere to actually mix them. So this is just chemical storage, it's not actually where you process any of the chemicals. Uh, let me make sure I have all the chemicals, just, just in case. I don't want to be missing one once I get to the mixing table or whatever. So it's B-A-D-C-T-E. B-A-D-C-T-E. Where's T? Four, five, six. Okay, it calls for a T, but there's no T here. Or no, 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 wait, did I... Oh, it's just the way I wrote it down, isn't it? My T looks like a... Or my F looks like a T, I think. Let me check the notes. Yeah, it's an F. Never mind. I just wrote... I wrote my F poorly. Let me fix it. Oh, God, that looks like shit. Let me rewrite it. Okay, there we go. Yep. I'm good. Let's go. I wonder where this exit comes out. I guess it's the other entrance to the chemical storage. That was on the map. I guess it would have to be, wouldn't it? 
Yep. Okay, um... Incinerator next, I guess. Yeah. Let's pay a visit to the lovely incinerator. Stuck. A small gap gives me a chance to pry it open with the right tool. Like a crowbar, which is at Lake Akutukukuk, whatever the name is. Right? Maybe I do have to go there. Can I saw it open? No, I can't saw open a metal door. Damn! That was so logical, though. I... Can I go to the lake, though? I mean, I don't really have anything to... Help me survive, do I? I don't know. Maybe I can do it. What the hell? I'm off the map? <laughs> what? I'm apparently off the map. This door has been forged shut. It will never open again. Oh, that's the other entrance. The one that's forged shut. Okay, so yeah, the lake is the only place left. Alright, to the lake we go. It's so tempting to bunny hop everywhere. Uh, let's read that note again. Make sure I'm not missing something. Oops. I mean, what did it say? Hmm. The only way to cross would be to, co to carefully spread your weight evenly across the surface. That's it? Okay, um, what does that mean? Just don't sprint? What if I test it with this? Won't catch me trekking across that, but I have to. I think. I think I can see the seam. Is that the, That's the seam, isn't it? Yeah, that is the seam. And there's another one. Okay, yeah, you can just test it with your tool. So I remember you mentioned, like, testing it with a, the crowbar. Are those fish? Are they, are they alive? They look dead. They're not moving. Are those fish supposed to be, like, frozen in the water? <laughs> Even though, obviously, they can't really be frozen in the water. Unless it's salt water? I don't know. Okay, wait, shit, how do I... Do I need to jump? Maybe you can... Jump... Onto that and jump... Oh, God, oh, fuck. <laughs> Let's try that again. Maybe you can jump for a second. You can actually see the seam. It's very subtle, but you can see it. Alright, let's try this. Yeah, you can jump. You can just jump. Okay. Yep. Let me guess, I have to jump across? Yeah, I don't think there's... There's no solid way. There's literally no solid way. 
None. Okay. Shortest way across. Right here. Oh, fuck. Oh. I was so close. Yeah, MLG speedrun. Might actually be able to just sprint across. Who? 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 What? What the hell? I think Jono is dead. The Gore-Tex glove is high tech, modern stuff. I really hope there's not a body attached to it, though. Jesus, what a way to go! <laughs> no kidding! Holy crap! I don't have the strength to pull the crowbar out of his frozen hand. Uh, do I have to break his hand off? Wait, what does that say? On oh, it's upside down. Fre freezer. I think it says freezer crowbar. Is, is that a brand? Freezer crowbar? Hmm. Oh god, the bolt cutters? How's that going to work? I don't... Saw? Ew. Oh. I'm not sure how sawing off his hand would make the crowbar magically pop out, but... Ew. Um... I'm gonna put put you here. A monument to Jono. Or... Maybe that actually... Maybe that wasn't Jono. You mentioned Gore-Tex. Where was it? My soaked Gore-Tex slowly freezing me in place. Ah, uh, I said he's constantly testing the crowbar, uh, the ice with the crowbar from his pack. It probably was. They probably both had Gore-Tex. Oh shit, no man, now we need to get back. <laughs> and there's no save point, so if I die, I'm gonna have to do the whole thing again. Well, I'll just go back the way I went. Yep. Ah. Oh god, fuck me. Oh, do I. Oh no, it auto saves, it auto saves. Thank god, thank you, thank you, Frictional Games. I love you for that. Boing, boing. Okay, I'm good. If I never see another one of these things, I don't know. I don't like them. But at the same time, I know that I'm leaving a part of myself behind each time I go near them. Can I just leave it here? It's kind of funny how, well not funny, but interesting, how they've implemented the save system as a part of the universe of the game, basically. Where your character, Philip, even comments on the fact of how strange it is that you're leaving a part of yourself behind. Because that's kind of what a save is, it's a, it's a copy of yourself at a certain point in time. I'm not sure if they actually have something deep intended for the storyline behind those artifacts. Or if it's just, just a little bit of, sort of, flavor to the save system to kind of make it more immersive. I don't know. Alright, where do I need to go? I know I need to go to the door, but which one? It's back here. It was the incinerator.
Where is it? Where's the crowbar? Did I... Did I just do what I fucking think I did? The save point was after I cut off his hand, but before I picked up the crowbar, wasn't it? Oh, God. Why? Okay. I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this again. Where is it? There it is. Where are you, my shiny knight? Have you really made it this far? I wait and wait, and yet the pot never boils. I remain trapped in my den of iniquity. Perhaps the gods have toyed with me once more. Sentence me to yet more years in this place of eternal nightlight. But now, maybe my ill advice has ended you. Have you rung death's doorbell? Please don't leave poor Ren all alone once more, like all the others. I won't, Red. I won't, don't worry. This passage has long since fallen away, but Red, or someone, has bridged the gaps with wooden, wooden planks. Oh boy. That does not look like a fun time. This must be the cave-in that Red's trapped behind. I need some way to demolish it quickly. Perhaps I can get some tips for my explosives book. Okay, so this is what I need to mix some explosives for. Got it. I sure hope these don't break. Oh god, Jesus. I'm going to stop sprinting now. <sighs> I have to say, these are some very, very convenient pillars. Oh, of course, it opens outwards. Thank you. This room should serve me well as a potion mixer, with the explosives book being my guide. Ooh, we have a fuse. Ooh, I'm gonna be making some explosives in here. Oh, that's for the Bunsen burner, isn't it? Yep. The sink's blocked with some amalgam of chemical sludge. Ew. Wait, the, the sink is blocked? It doesn't even have a drain. How can a sink with no drain be blocked? I don't understand, but okay. Glass beakers. Empty shelves. Yep. Alright, we're gonna have some fun making some explosives. But, I'm gonna save that fun for the next episode. So, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.